Hello, my name is Andrew Russell and I'm an indie game developer from Australia and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating a piece of technology I've made called XN and what that is is a port of uh, XNA that runs on Silverlight and the iPhone and to demonstrate it I'm going to uh, port the Marblets sample game uh, to those platforms. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to turn on mouse support and I'm going to fix a small bug in the mouse support and that is that the uh, title screen and the game over screen don't respond to mouse input. Um, so I'll make them do that, which will come in handy later. Uh, when I port to the iPhone, which um, obviously doesn't have a gamepad or a keyboard to check for input. So the whole thing is now run by the mouse. So this is Marblets. And now this is just a simple color matching game that runs on Windows and the Xbox. And so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, this is a game from 2007, uh, and so before I port it I want to modernize it a little bit, so I'll just upgrade the solution. Now the first thing is that it uses simple TGA textures. Now uh, Silverlight and the iPhone, uh, and also XNA4 use uh, pre-multiplied textures, and um, for Silverlight and the iPhone I also want um, my textures to be uh, PNG formats. So I've already converted the uh, files to the uh, format that I want them in and so I'm just going to add those instead and because this is XNA3 I need to use a content processor to do pre-multiplication uh, over the alpha channel for me and then finally pre-multiplied alpha on XNA3 uh, needs me to change the blend mode so all of the begin calls um, in this project on Sprite Batch, I need to have a. Um, there we go. Ah. All of the begin calls need to have uh, the uh, blending mode changed to uh, blend one on the source blend, which is what you need for pre multiplied alpha to work. And the other change that I want to make is uh, the project uses the exact, that's the uh, cross platform audio creation tool which works on PC and uh, Xbox but it doesn't work on Windows Phone and it doesn't work on XN either. So instead of um, using uh, Zact audio I'm just going to use the raw sample files and I'm going to add those and we're just going to use those as plain old content and because I've changed the files, I now need to uh, change the uh, sound system. So instead of taking a sound entry and playing a cue and returning it, I'm going to change the whole thing so that it either plays it, or if it's music, it plays it, possibly loops it, and returns it. Um, and that's going to break a few things, uh, so I'll just build this quickly. So because I've changed it, that is now music, that is now music, and it's not returning a cue anymore, but it's returning a sound effect instance, and it doesn't initialize anymore, or shut down, but rather it uh, loads content, so, and because it loads content, uh, it can't start playing um, music in the initialize function anymore, it has to uh, wait until the game started and the content's been loaded and do it in the update function. So if not is music playing, start the music. So this is uh, Marblets and it's exactly the same as before except I've just improved it and it's a bit more like you would uh, have it if you were going to port it to Windows Phone, but I'm not going to port it to Windows Phone. I'm going to port it to Silverlight and the iPhone. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little template uh, project files and create them 
for um, Silverlight uh, and the iPhone. So that would be them there and there. So I'm going to open up the Silverlight solution now and add that project that I just made. Um, Marblets for Silverlight. And then I'm going to add in all of the source files except for the ones for the iPhone and that would be that one and XA and the one that's already in there which is the Silverlight application and I just made a copy of them all. Okay so that's all the uh, source files and now the content and I want to exclude um, stuff that isn't content uh, so that would be the project file from XNA and the build directories and change the build action to content on everything and so right away I'm going to build this and it's going to tell me that there are a few things missing so first of all um, I don't have support for storage or game services yet um, mostly because that's uh, Xbox sort of thing uh, so that's mostly responsible for selecting the storage device to save the high scores onto um, and so rather than saving the high scores to disk and rather than messing around working out how to save a file on all three platforms at the moment uh, it can be done but I'm not going to do it now so I'm just going to delete all the code that uh, saves files so that would be the uh, settings uh, okay and uh, okay so there's no storage device and there's no loading of settings and there's no game services component and there's no loading of high scores from anywhere from the disk which is fair enough so let's build that again it's going to tell me that I've left some users in there and again, and the other thing that I don't support is the graphics adapter and presentation parameters classes, at least at the moment. So for the time being, they can go. So uh, with just a little bit of changes, um, I've removed some minor functionality, but uh, I can always add that back in later. But now I should have a game and I've gone and run something that's not actually... Okay, startup project. So I've got a game that runs on Silverlight. Um, simple as that and it's exactly the same except it's running the web browser now this is software uh, software rendering happening here and that works just fine but I also have support for hardware rendering uh, hardware rendering in Silverlight is controlled by the HTML file uh, the plugin tag and so I'm just going to use an HTML file I've made earlier that has that uh, plugin tag specifying hardware acceleration and it's exactly the same, but you can see from the uh, frame rate counter that I've left on that it's hardware accelerated, uh, running a good frame rate using 18 megabytes of graphics memory. It's using a large number of surfaces, uh, which is not a problem because they're not using that much graphics memory, uh, 18 megabytes. And this is the important bit, it's using zero software surfaces, so this is running entirely on the GPU. So that's the uh, Silverlight port. And that's done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to port to iPhone. Now the first thing about the iPhone is that it's got a smaller screen. So the Marblets game runs at 720 and it's designed for the Xbox uh, running on a TV. So I want to make the uh, game screen smaller. And so one of the things I need is uh, new textures. So this is them. And so I'm just going to drop those on top of the old one. So these textures are the correct size for the iPhone. Um, so I've made those in advance. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the XNA game and this is the nice thing is that I can develop this in XNA and then port it to the iPhone. So first thing I want to do is I want to find all the instances of 720 which is the resolution that the project's running in, uh, that the game runs at. That's the documentation. This 720. So 720 is the height, and I know that the portrait iPhone window is 480 high and 320 wide. So uh, the preferred back buffer height is now 480, and the preferred back buffer width is now 320. 
and I'll change it here. And I actually know that these aren't used. So I think that's all of them. So I'm just going to search again. And that's documentation, all of that. So if I run this now, I've got an XNA game that's running and it's showing my nice new textures, but the game's all the way down here. Uh, so I want to move that. So I'm going to need to change the layout. So the first place to do that is in game board, and I want the game board to be smaller and up in the top left corner. So I know that I can fit seven marblets by nine marblets on an iPhone screen. And so I'm going to pop it up in the corner and I'm going to pop it about in the center, which lets me display the score at the top and the bottom. Uh, the game screen. I want to move the game over, display so that it's up against the left edge of the screen, and it's the uh, little bit down from the top. And I want to move the score so it's uh, also at the left um, and down at the um, bottom of the screen. So in advance, I've um, figured out what all these positions are, but it doesn't take long to figure that out. Um, um, and if you know you wanted to. Uh, Put conditionals on all of these to run on different devices with different resolutions you could do that uh, but for the time being that's done so with any luck there is the marvelous game and it's working at um, iPhone resolution um, and the other nice thing is that without doing any other changes uh, it immediately works in civil light at that same resolution um, so all those changes have duplicated across nicely. So finally, I'm going to switch over to my Macintosh um, and I'm going to add an existing project. So this is the template project that I came up with earlier. Um, Marblets for Monotouch. So Monotouch is a um, implementation of C Sharp uh, and .NET that runs on the iPhone. Um, so I'm going to add all the source files again. And I've gone and added ones that I don't want. Okay, so that's all the source files. And I'm going to add all the content files. Uh, so first of all the audio. All of those and as content. And then last of all, I'm going to add all the textures. as content. Okay, so this is uh, basically a finished iPhone game and uh, set as startup project and run and upload your device. So this is going to build and that'll take a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from this screencast to a video of it running on my iPhone. So once again, my name is Andrew Russell. And my email address, if you'd like to contact me, is andrew at andrewrussell.net. And this has been a video demonstration of my XN library. Uh, and at the moment, I'm working on a proposal to open source it, as well as make an Android version. Uh, and this will allow XNA to run on a much wider variety of platforms. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, please check out the video description for more details. And thank you again for watching.